Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey and welcome back for episode number 13 of the Satisfactory series here on YouTube. In this video we're going on a little adventure for more hard drives and finally automating smart plating at a whopping 10 per minute. Thank you all for the support and help with the series so far. Let's jump right into it. Alright everybody, welcome back. It is episode number 13. We are jumping back into just some more simple stuff today. Um, just be a nice little bit of a relaxing episode, I think. I mean, as most of them usually are. Today we are going to do some more research on the MAM, try and get through some more unlocks on there. Um, I'm going to do a quick little time-lapse adventure in the beginning here of grabbing some more hard drives so that we can start putting those in as we build our smart plating factory at the end of the episode. We're giving us 10 per minute because honestly, I'm, I'm tired of loading machines over there to make them. And I think we need quite a few going forward for uh, completing phase number three. Because if I remember correctly, smart plating is actually used in both the... I can't remember what they're exactly called on the top right there in complete phase three. Both the ones on the right. Not the versatile framework, but, but the like fancy motors and the other things. I think both of those take smart plating. So we're going to go crank out one of those. Should be pretty easy. All it ever really takes is iron. So I think I'm going to make use of the iron nodes that are down in the bottom left here. I think there's, or there might actually be close to that crash ship with the quick wire. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I will uh, have to double check where they are, but there's a bunch of iron nodes that are being unused at the moment. We'll make use of them for this purpose. So let's head on over to the MAM here. We'll jump right into the, into this episode. Um, we are going to start with alien organisms. Uh, what do we got here that we can do? Structural analysis. I just need five of those things and we can get the rebar gun. Let's definitely do that. Um, and then an equipment hand slot. All we need is 500 steel beams and five, we'll need five more. So we'll need 10 total. I think I only have five. So I may have to go kill a few things. Oh no, I have 12. Okay, that's fine. We can absolutely finish that tree then. I wish I could like pin the things I actually need for this. So more steel beams. We've got the raw. I will just do this one right now. And for the rebar gun, I need screws and rotors. So screws, rotors, and beams. Anything else I could grab while I'm out? Oh, I can research this right now. The zip line. I'm not necessarily going to make use of all these things in this episode, but I do want to at least get these uh, get these researched. High speed connectors. I know I definitely need those for moving forward. I don't think I can research any of this stuff just yet. Oh, so this is how you get geothermal power. I thought it was going to be in a tier, like one of the next tiers, but that's interesting. I need rubber, heavy modular frames, and the supercomputers. Okay, so well, I'm not going to worry about that for a while. We're a ways out from that one for sure. So I think that's most of the Caterium tree that we can finish for now. I'm not going to worry about the stun rebar just yet. Um, I think I may have some mycelium kicking around. Only a little bit. I think I need 200. Nope. Okay. I need 200 um, biomass. Do I have any biomass? Do I have any stuff for making biomass? Oh, I might need some of this. Um, I think I need fuel for unlocking the jetpack. Does this take compacted coal to unlock? Oh, does turbo fuel require compacted coal to make? I don't actually know. 
We should research, come back to coal, and we go get more hard drives, though. I need a bunch of black powder for doing the sulfur tree. Okay. Quartz. Yeah, quartz I'm not too worried about for now. So pipes, wire, steel beams. Yeah, I can't make any of this stuff for now. Pipes, wire, steel beams, screws, and rotors. Okay, rebar gun. Awesome. We're going to use that a little bit going forward. Get the expanded tool belt so we can actually hold on to another tool at the same time. And then I'm going to wait for hostile organism detection because I don't have any of that stuff right now. All right, let's also finish off this nutrients tree. So the bottom here, another inhaler. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that for now. I don't use the inhalers that much very often, to be honest. Okay, I think that's enough ma'am research for now. Uh, we'll dive deeper into the sulfur tree. Maybe a couple more episodes from now, we can get more black powder. So, oops. Accidentally clicked out. There we go. And research done. Okay, so now we're going to do a little adventuring around. Um, we're going to go find some hard drives. I'm going to aim to find at least 10. Um, so I'm going to be running around quite a bit. Uh, just because we need some more alternate recipes. As well as I need a couple more hard drives for actually unlocking the sulfur tree when we get in there as well. Um, so I'll just time lapse this together for you guys. Throw in some quick little background music. And then when we're all done, we will move into the smart plating factory. Okay, so just before we go, I loaded myself up with a few handful of things. Um, in case industrial beams, rubber, steel beams, AI limiters, computers, a couple heavy modular frames, um, some things for building in case I need to get to anything. Um, I just like to bring in an assortment of stuff, just depending on what the requirements are going to be for opening up to get the hard drive. Um, and then I also like to bring a lot of things to make some biomass burners as well and then bring some fuel for them. So let's head off in, which way should we go? Let's go, let's go east. I feel like we normally go this way. So I'm going to go east this time and I'm going to use my human cannon.
Okay, I'm back at base just as the sun is coming up. Oh, that was quite a little adventure. I don't even know where I really ended up there. That really, that place where like all the colors changed. I think that was like up here somewhere, like a swamp area. That was pretty cool. Um, anyway, let's move on to uh, putting our first hard drive in. We'll scan that. We ended up finding 11 in total. I also found a whole bunch of other useful materials. Like I found some heat sinks. Got a bunch of free circuit boards. Some more free motors. A couple of computers. Not bad. So I'm going to go over. We'll let, we'll let that uh, keep going. And we'll just keep uh, researching them as, we, as we're building our smart plating. So I'll go over quickly what we're going to need for that. We will need one miner doing 232.5 iron ore per minute. Um, but I, I think I'm going to be using impure nodes. So I'm probably going to have to mix two together. So we're going to go to production. We're going to have two miner mark twos. Eight smelters. Fifteen constructors total. We need ten assemblers, and that's it. Well, plus your storage bins, but and maybe an awesome sink. Maybe an awesome, maybe an awesome sink. We'll see. All right, we got everything we need. Let's go head on over and build ourselves a smart plating factory. I am going to do it over down here I think so I'm going to go double check make sure I'm remembering correctly that there's actually open iron nodes down here oh. perfect there they are he's standing guard for me already but we'll take out the couple guys that are here I think there's only two. Now, let's try to reload, sir. Oh, let's try to hide. Not my house. Okay, so these are all impure. So I think I'll just use these two over here. We'll combine them together. There we go. We've got actually a nice good amount of flat space here. So let's get these two set up with some foundations. I want to find a better way of like building around miners as well. I feel like I just leave them very basic at the moment. Like making them look a little cooler would be nice. So we're going to miner mark two. I'm going to send them this way. One there. Where's the other one? I don't know if I can actually see it. I may, have I may have buried it too much. Wait, where was it? There it is. Okay. Oh, wow. It's all the way over there. Okay. Uh, Yeah, I'll just put this facing this way. We'll combine them right here. Auto save. I thought my game. Every time it auto saves, I feel like I think my game is crashing. Okay, so this should be able to put out 60. Oh, there's our first ma'am done. Instead of running back, I'm just going to make an extra one. That way we can just use it while we're building here. So, what did we get? We got caterium wire, fine concrete, and steel canisters. Um, I feel like Caterium Wire is actually a really good one to get, so I'm going to grab that. And we'll put our next hard drive in. And then we're going to continue on building this. So I'm going to blow... I'm going to blow? Jesus. Um, I'm going to send uh, a bunch of foundations out from here so that we can start putting this together. We're going to need quite a bit of room, so I'm just going to kind of zoop it. I'm not going to have any specific amount, but I'm just going to make sure there's a pretty good amount of space. 
Okay, I got a bunch of foundations down for now. You're definitely going to want to have at least nine wide because we're going to have eight smelters. Um, and I like to have at least one around the side so I can walk around them. Um, I, mean, I think I did at least ten wide here. So I'm going to set up my smelters now. And we're going to set up a line of eight smelters. Make sure I have these in the correct spot. Output coming out right there. Oh, I actually have these. I need to turn this around. There we go. Uh, I think that's where I want it to be. So we're going to do eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we'll start with our merger in front of our miners here. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to need mark two belts coming out from them. What happened? Why can't I connect to that? Oh, I'm missing an iron I don't know. Oh, because I built a bunch of foundations. Um, so yeah, let me go grab my iron plates real quick. Okay, there we go. Got everything again. So we got conveyor belt mark 2 coming out from there. Make sure it is the right one. I'm going to connect this in to a merger here just so I can clean this up a little bit. Or no, sorry, I can do this correctly. Hang on. I just want it to be straight. I need something straight for it to come out of. That makes sense. Well, that's not correct. Oh, is it too close? It might be too close. Uh, okay. Uh, why not? That far enough away now? Okay. Oops, I didn't. I didn't mean to get rid of that so already. Try that again. That's too close. I did it again. One of these times I'm going to get it right. What? I don't understand. Why not? Oh, that's an input, that's why. I was like, why not? Why are you being so weird, man? Okay, now this needs to be moved again. Sorry, this is a embarrassing way to build things. What? It's still too close? Alright. Because this isn't... Oh, that's why. I didn't face it the right direction. But that actually worked out. Okay, so these need to be overclocked. To... Whatever, whatever 
232 and a half split in half is. So 232.5 divided by two this is a 116 and a quarter from each one. So now that that silliness is over and done with, we can move on to the rest of it. And then our splitters, one right there with the input coming from me, then we're going to turn it. Trying to make sure they're lined up with the, everything they need to be. There we go. So this is going to be Mark III belts all the way down. This Mark III can carry 240. Literally every single one was off. <laughs> no. Uh, there you go, Sheffrey. Every single one was off by just a squeeze. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Now we're back in business. Can I please just connect them in? There we go. Now Mark three conveyor belts all the way along. And a Mark three conveyor belt from that merger into that splitter. And then Mark one conveyor belts feeding all your machines. Ooh, we got another ma'am. That means it's been 10 minutes and this is all I built. Sad. What do we got? Solid steel ingot coated iron plate. Or plastic smart plating. Um, I feel like an alternate recipe for these, honestly, not super necessary. Although that would be a pretty good recipe. Um, I'm going to go with the solid steel ingot. I think that's a pretty good one to get. Okay, so we have our eight constructors here, or sorry, our eight smelters here, um, and two of these are going to be dialed down to do 90%, so we'll do those to the front two. Set them all to do iron, and these two are going to be 90%. And these two will just be 100 or the, the rest of them will all be 100, I mean. So from these uh, eight smelters, we are going to be feeding four co um, constructors making rods, eight constructors making cast screws, and three constructors making plates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the four rods over here. I'll make this into, I'll gather this all together into a manifold line. And then I will just split everything off from there as needed. So we're going to go our four constructors here. Let's go... One, and two, three, and four. And then I think there's a better way of doing this actually. do I'll also do the three plates in this line actually wait no 
Here's how I'll do the three the three plates I'll do like this. Because there will be a, a line coming down this way, right? And then I'll do eight over here. Doing the cast screw recipe. I need to leave two in between. Two, three, four. Same thing on this side. That is too close. Still too close. That's it, right? Yep. One, two, three, four. So two of these are going to be down clocked at 30% in our cast screw. So 30% on that one. Copy the settings from there. So the first two be at 30% so they get backed up easier. Um, same thing with the rods. Two of them are going to be at 30%. So you're going to do rod. 30% on the first one. Rods. Oops. That was target production rate. Clock speed. Oops. Oh, what happened there? 30%. And then the plates are all 100%. 100% on the iron plates. So this is how I'm going to set up this. I'm going to do a splitter with the input facing me. I'll actually just do one splitter there. That's all we need. And then we're going to bring them down the line here. Mark one conveyor belts, feeding all your constructors. I feel like it's pretty much always mark one conveyor belts feeding these. Actually incorrect. Um, I think mark two belts carrying things over here. Not 100% sure, but just in case. We can always uh, adjust it later if we need to. So, what's my output? 30 times 6. Is 180. Plus 27 and 2. It's 234. So that would be a Mark 3 conveyor belt, right? Nope. Yep. Mark 3 conveyor belt. I almost confused myself there. So, merger line. so I can make sure this is all nice and even. Merge line all going down to the right. You could definitely make this cleaner. I think as I've, I've made it clear before, you don't always have to follow my, uh, my build techniques. They're not the best. This one we're going to face out. Mark 1 conveyor belts feeding into the mergers from the smelters. Mark one conveyor belt. Mark one. And then this is what becomes Mark two. Mark two. And Mark three all the way down. You can really just do Mark three all the way down. Not a big deal. Okay, so this is where I'm going to want to have a splitter. One is going to feed to the left here. I was going to say, I guess I don't actually need to put another splitter there. Um, and then the other one is going to feed down here and feed into that line. 
So this is going to be Mark III Conveyor Belt. Put our splitters in here. That went too far. Yeah, I think uh, maybe like a handful of episodes from now, I'd like to do that Q&A that I was mentioning in, in the past episode. Um, so and I'll kind of let, uh, like that way I can kind of give it time for you guys to get questions in if you want. Um, so, I mean, I guess starting on this video, feel free to start putting any questions that you might want to have in the Q and A portion of our road building video. I didn't set these to cast screws. That was why, because I only did the I only did the underclocked ones. So these take twelve and a half. Plus seven, so twelve and a half times six plus seven is eighty two. Mark two conveyor belt. Just barely over sixty. So also this can just be a mark two. But I believe this still needs to be mark three. Oh, maybe not, because I only made this mark too. Let's see. We'll see once it gets fired up if I need to switch it over to mark three or not. Oh, I also forgot to set these ones as well. These are 100% iron rods. So that's 30... 39 plus 90. 39 plus 90 is just barely over 120. So yeah, we're going to go Mark three conveyor belts. Another one's fine though. Okay, so now I just got to kind of send these all, send these all down the line. Mergers. Those are all going out that way. And there's so many green lines it can contend with now. I mean, I guess that helps, you know, everything's sort of lined up with each other, though. They're very nice, uh... Very nice lined up factory, hopefully. Wait, is that conveyor belt mark one? I think it is. It is not. And neither is this one. This is our mark three conveyor belts. And it's gonna be gonna be even more in a second here. Okay, so that's all our constructors. So now it should just be our assemblers. So we need three assemblers doing rotors, and then I need two assemblers doing reinforced iron plates. So obviously the reinforced iron plates are gonna more so come from this side. So let's bring everyone together first, or kind of 
do the best we can. We're going to merger in the middle facing this direction. That'll bring my rods. Hello, what? <laughs> I was like, what happened there? Okay, so we got rods there. This will be plates. So we're going to go... Merger. Actually, I think I'll send it all to here. I know normally I would just do them all three into the middle. But I'm not going to do that this time. So mark one plates going in between there. It's only outputting... 60 iron plates. So yeah, let's just mark one conveyor belts for this one. So those are my rods. These are my plates. Let's add a bunch more uh, creatures in the way. Ooh. Hello? Oh, it's a little bird. Can you kindly move, please, bird? Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to set up our two assemblers in front of here. I mean, actually, we can just do it. We'll do all five in a row. Why not? Is this enough room? Should be. Oops. How'd that happen? Also, this is backwards. Why is everything always backwards? There we go. So these are both going to be doing reinforced iron plates. Oh, actually, I guess this should be... Well, it doesn't really matter. They're going to end up crossing over anyway, but... The, um... The rotors are raw, so I should have done, I should have done rods in the middle. Now things are going to get, because like rods are the one that gets used for both. So yeah, ro rods should have came out the middle. I guess they still could. I mean, they, yeah, I guess they still kind of, I'm, yeah, I'm actually going to combine them back here. I'll add in a lift. Just send it kind of up and over. Now, would it be able to reach that far? I don't think so. Might have to move it back, actually. Yeah, like if I send it right there. Like that. Air belt mark one into there. This is a reversed. Whoops, that didn't, uh, didn't go in it properly at all. Oh, you said, okay, you said the bottom first. That's right. There 
we go. So I just need to be able to merge. Oh, it's right there. Okay. I got to confuse myself there for a second. I'm going to merge her. Like that. So now that should be all the rods together here in the middle. Perfect. Much better. So now, yeah, we can definitely do these all in a row. Because if these are going to be the iron plates with the screws, the screws are going to have to cross over. I mean, that's just kind of how it is. But this side, this would be screws and rods on this side. the rotors and you can either turn one of these to 50% or no sorry so yeah you can either clock one of these to 50% or you can make each of them do 8.33 per minute Or 83.33333%. And that should make 10 total. We'll copy. There we go. And then these are just reinforced iron plates, both of them at 100%. I'm going to have to add even more space on the back here. Because I need to add in five more assemblers to do our smart plating. I will do... No, I got, it doesn't really matter where you go from, to be honest. Go like right in the middle. One, two, oops, three, four, five. So all of these smart plating. So those are all the machines set up. Now I just have to actually put everything together. So for the screws, I'm going to put together an emerger here. And the Mark III conveyor belts. Oh, I didn't even set up the, the merger line over there. Mark III conveyor belts come out the end. I'll just have to do the same for this side. I thought I did already, but I guess not. We'll set up our merger line. Oops. Sucks when it just slips at the last second. Mark one conveyor belts coming out of your machines. Mark two there. Mark three there, I think. And mark three here. What are we putting out? 50, 100, 150. 165. So 165 times two is 330. That's a Mark IV conveyor belt. 
So from here, these machines are all going to get screws and rods. So I'm going to want to add a splitter to add, to do two manifold lines here because I need to send some screws down that way as well. So we're going to hit nine to get our splitter. And we will put right here. I'm actually, I'm going to make it real close just so I make sure I have enough room for everyone. Actually, I think we can nudge it forward one. That's fine. We'll just do right, right in front of it. With the Mark IV conveyor belt connecting those two together. And then it can be split back down into Mark III's. So I'm going to feed all of these with screws first. So I'm going to have the input for coming from here. I'm going to set these three up. That line up sure is. How many screws do you guys need? 83 times 3 per minute. Oops. 83 times 3 per minute. 249. That's going to be Mark 3 conveyor belts. Oh, perfect 90 degree turn. How about that? And then just mark one, no, mark two conveyor belts feeding the machine. This is the one time you'll actually feed some move more than a mark one. So that's getting its screws. That's also screws. And this is rods. So rods need to be able to come over here. So I'm going to do, let's bring the rods over. Oh, I'd have to split the rods, don't I? Okay. So we're going to bring the rods to a splitter. Or no, wait, oh, I don't need rods for this, right? Yeah, this is screws and plates. So rods only go, the rods only go over here. I guess so, yeah. Okay, so rods only go to the left. Let's figure out how I'm going to load those in first. Um, yeah, I'll do this with uh, my, my favorite little um, lifts and stuff. What English was that? Lifts and stuff. Oops. Um, okay, so now we're going to go to... Logistics. Or sorry, no, I need to stack up the splitters first. Oh, audio's cutting out on me. There we go. So stacking up the splitters, make sure the output is facing away from us. The rods are going to be coming from... From over there. I feel like I struggle communicating sometimes. So every, uh, whenever you guys give me a lot of positive feedback on these videos, it really means a lot to me. So thank you guys. Okay, so those two are gone. Mark one conveyor belts because we're not moving to very many rods. And then mark one lifts. Go like that. I think I'm too close again, but it's fine. It works. It works. There we go. So that means rods needs to be able to go up there. Let's grab another one. Um, 
Actually, I may I may raise rods up sooner. Yeah, I'm going to raise rods up now so that we can just send the screws underneath. This was a bit of a mess. I probably could have designed this a bit better. Get that nice 90 degree turn there. Connect these back up. They're Mark III belts. So now I just need to feed plates into here and the um, screws into here. So we'll feed the plates in from this side. I'll feed them from the outside actually. And then the screws I'll do from above. Actually, no, the screws I'll do from below and the plates I'll do from above. So that one's for the plates. And then this one will be for the screws. How many screws do I need? 60, 120. That's a nice conveyor belt Mark II right there. About a Mark I feeding the machines is fine. So yeah, this can be a conveyor belt Mark II because that's all we need over here. Oh no, is this not going to line up properly? No. <laughs> there we go. I'll make it work. <laughs> no weird bend. I think it's just because of the way I had these lined up. Oh, I may have shifted the, the bottom ones too far back. That, that was probably why. That's okay. I can move those. I'll move them to clean this up. Mark two conveyor belt. Mark ones. Mark two. There we go. Nice and clean. Mark one conveyor belt up here. Let's grab a lift. Wait, why can't I go into that? Oh, I faced this the wrong way. That's why I was like, what? What's happening? There we go. Okay. Those are all hooked up. That's why I like moving those back a little bit. Oh no! I missed. Oh, are these not connected? Oh. Huh. Wait, what? How did that... How did that snap in, but this didn't? Maybe I'll just put this one on again.
There we go. I was like, what? Okay, that is... All of those machines are fed. Now we just have to feed the ones that make the actual smart plating. So how are we going to do this? This is reinforced iron plates. Should I give myself more room? Probably. I think I'm just going to do this the super easy way. So I need to merge these two together. Send it off in that direction. Yeah, I'm going to give myself more room here. We're squeezing in real good there. Okay, let me just line it up in front of one of these machines. Okay, there's one. And then we go two, three, four, five. Set these all back to do smart plating. Now we should build. I'm going to set these lines up first. So we're going to do our our splitters. One coming from this end. And then we're going to face them like that. There we go. So how many does that put out? That's only 10. Okay, so I mean, just obviously just uh, Mark 1 conveyor belts all the way along here. Mark 1 conveyor belts feeding all your inputs. And then, yeah, I guess I should... Uh, We'll do the we'll do the splitter stack. But this one we're gonna want from the left. And I'm just gonna do we're not even gonna do lifts on this one. We're just gonna slightly raise it and then drop it down. the poor man's way. Actually, I think it's about the same, but. Okay, so from out of here, we don't have very many coming either. So in front of. Which I guess we can bring it over to here. Merge them all the way over here. I'm just going to have to put it up. So actually, I'm going to turn this one. The input is facing to the left. So I'm going to send it from this one. To merger. Output facing away from me. They're about halfway out. That one goes to the left. And this one I'm just not even going to use one. You just mark one belts in between everybody. And there you go. It'll say it's soft clipping on a few of these, but that's okay. And 
then conveyor belt ones between everybody. Because we're barely moving anything in this line. Conveyor belt mark ones. So I'll make sure everyone's actually hooked up. Merger in front of this one. That was not in the middle. Okay, that should be the entire layout, I believe. Let me do a quick little fly over here. I'm just obviously going to have to connect everything to power still. Oh, that actually came together kind of cool looking. Oops, I zoomed in. That's yeah, okay. Okay, so we're going to have our two miners feeding into our eight smelters, which are going to feed these four constructors for rods, eight constructors for cast screws, and three constructors for plates in a bit of a kerfuffly mess. Um, and then those feed into these three doing rotors, these two doing reinforced iron plates, and all five of these will be outputting um, the smart plates. So I'm going to add in one more um, line behind them here. I'm just going to do this while flying since we're already here. We're going to merge it all together. Uh, so I'm usually going to come at it from probably this side. Send them all to the left. With Mark 1 conveyor belts. Oops. It's made a circle. Oops. I click too fast sometimes. Okay, those will all be connected. Just send it down a line to a storage box. I'll do two just in case. And there you go. So now we just need to connect in all of our power and we can actually finally fire this whole thing on. Um, so I'll hook these uh, IOIs. Whoa. <laughs> Struggle. Um, I also need to go grab some uh, shards so we can actually overclock these as well. And I totally wasn't paying attention that a MAM completed while I was done there. So we've got pure Caterium ingot, diluted packaged fuel, and insulated crystal oscillators. I believe the diluted packaged fuel is actually like super good. So I think we're gonna grab that one. If I'm thinking of another one, someone please feel free to grab. It might be diluted fuel that I'm thinking is like the really, really good one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to power all of this up. I'm gonna go grab a couple of power shards. Uh, I may even need some things for doing uh, making some some more power poles because it's gonna take quite a few um let's check my inventory here how many power poles can i make lots okay this should be all right um let's just fly for this as well because i feel like this is a uh, gonna be a bit of a mess if i don't it would take me forever to power up this whole factory Oops, that one got shifted back a little bit. Oops, where's my power pole bar? Do you guys use, like, so we've now unlocked like the higher end power poles. Do you guys actually use them? In like small, I feel like I will still just use the, the little ones. 
I mean, although I guess really the only difference, the fact now is, is they use uh, the tier two ones anyway. It's like the same, but I think instead of copper wire, it just uses quick wire. So like, I don't know, I haven't really been far enough in game to make use of the, the newer power poles as much. I mean, I feel like I will at some point, but... Okay, there's those all hooked up. And this is a lot of power connectors to hook up. A lot of machines. So we'll give each one to here. I was connected to the wrong one almost. Yeah, I'm going to run this one back down here for these assemblers. I'm going to give each one. Sometimes I give a single one to each one. Sometimes I don't. It's really just how I'm feeling. So we're going to drag... I'm gonna drag one from you. The smelter's here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna move that a little bit. I want it to be on the inside, so we're gonna be like that. Sometimes I feel like I click on it and it doesn't actually register. Maybe I do click too fast. Hello? Oh, I guess I don't need that one, actually. So I'm going to link some of these up. I'm skipping power poles on this one. I really just want to see this this factory actually all hooked up. Oh, right. I should probably go grab those power shards really quick. Let's grab them. They're just in storage over here. I feel like I remember I said I wouldn't really fly all that much in the game, but then when I start to get into these bigger builds, I'm like, ah, oh, save me some time, please. Okay, power shards. And goes, what did I say? It needed to be 232.5 divided by 2. Let's refresh my memory on what that was. 116 and a quarter. 116.25. So we need two shards. 116.25. So it's 193.75% on an impure node. There we go. And I want to hook just these two up to power first. So I'm going to run a power line over... Like this. Where is... There it is. Looks like there's power line here somewhere.
There we go. That'll fire up our iron line. It's about to auto save. I'm going to give it a second. So it doesn't crash so hard. Yeah, I feel like if you're not moving when it auto saves, it's actually a little bit better. Okay, so everyone is hooked up to power. Oh, no. No, we didn't. Everyone is not hooked up to power. We still got to do these ones back here. We almost got everybody. Oops. I thought that was lined up on the dark line, but it was not. There we go. Now everybody's hooked up fully. This is a pretty cool looking factory. I feel like I'm, I could have swapped around some things a little bit, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. So now we are going to do the moment of truth. Hook up the rest of the factory. There we go. So yeah, this might take a this might take a couple minutes as usual to back everything up fully, but so you'll probably see it go in and out for the first few minutes, but as long as our math has been mathed correctly. This should be a 100% efficient um, 10 smart plating per minute. How are we doing? How are we getting down the line here? Okay, I'm starting to see starting to see some rods. The screws are going to be are probably going to be the most hungry ones, I would imagine. Actually, no, I think this line actually takes more than the screws does. I'm not seeing any screws coming out yet. Oh, there's our first screws coming down the line. Excellent. Screws, rods, plates. This is going to look really cool when it's all like fully functional. So our assemb first assemblers are starting to see screws now. Oh, I forgot to, uh, there we go. <laughs> I forgot to reconnect. I was like, wait, <laughs> one's not getting fed. I did miss a belt. Oh, we got another ma'am already. What do we got this time? Heavy oil residue, heavy flexible frame, or steel coated plate. Um, I'm gonna go with heavy heavy oil residue. Sure. Let's do one more hard drive this episode. So yeah, I mean, I could crank these up for now, but they're only on Mark II conveyor belt, so I'd have to up actually upgrade the belt. If I want to, like, speed fill this line, I'd have to uh, pre-grab a bunch of stuff, but I can also just yoink a bunch of the iron ore out of here and go pre-fill a couple of these. Because the faster these will hit 100, the further down the line they'll start backing up. So I'm not sure how long this is. This is probably going to take quite some time in game for this to actually balance itself out fully. Um, and I think this is where 
you know, building manifold lines is, is maybe your, your small drawback, but it is really clean. And like I said, as long as the math has been math correctly, eventually it will be hundred percent efficient. Starting to see stuff move around more now, more rods, more screws, more plates. We have any smart plating yet? We have one reinforced. Oh, we have our first rotor. We have rotors coming down the line. That's funny. So here has rotors, but down here has, and down here has no rotors. But here has the reinforced iron plates, and down here does not. That's funny. Everyone's all connected, right? Just making sure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we got our first one. We have our first one. We're about to come out. It's gonna be beautiful. Here we go. Show me automatic smart plating. Let's go. All right. I'll see you guys in several days for when this is actually 100% efficient again. But hey, did you guys know? That's pretty much the that's pretty much the the episode for today. We got more hard drives. We did our smart plating factory of 10 per minute. Oops, I did it again. I really wish if you hit escape on this, it would actually just update properly instead of hit the X there. Um so I will just do this hard drive in the next episode, or I'll just pick something at random. Um we still have quite a few more to go. But yeah, this is the... We'll do a quick little flyover one more time for anyone who needs it. You got your two um, iron miners feeding into eight smelters. Four constructors make rods. Three constructors make plates. Eight constructors make screws. Three constructors make... Or three assemblers make rotors. Two assemblers make reinforced iron plates. And five assemblers make the smart plating. I think it actually looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, if anyone was trying to follow along with that build, hopefully you found that easy enough to uh, to to keep up with. Um, I'm hoping I'm, I'm getting a little bit better at building as we go along here, because hopefully I'm learning things as we go. Um, but other than that, like I said, thank you guys again so much for the support in the series. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And don't forget, over the next couple um, episodes, feel free to leave any questions down below you might have that you want to see featured in the Q&A video. Um, it can be about Satisfactory, it can be about, you know, just, if you just want to learn a little bit more about uh, me, then, then you know, I'll, I'll try and answer whatever I can, um, and I'll pick out some good ones. But uh, other than that, I will see you guys in the next episode.